Okay. I didn't. I didn't know you were. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Hey. She upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. Randall. There's no way we could have known. I believe you. She's home, and that's what matters. It's cool. Beth and the girls with you? No, they're back home. Next time. What's going on there? Oh, that's just some poison ivy. Miguel and I have been gardening. I already took something for it. Beth and the girls with you? No, no. Right next time. Okay. So every morning I take 20 milligrams of an antidepressant. They called my doctor to renew my prescription. And he said, oh, no, don't worry about it. You have automatic refills. Is there ever going to be a time when I am not on these meds? I mean, is, is, is this ever going to end? And, and then he, <laughs> he says, one day at a time, Rebecca had a bad day. She's going to have more. We got a doctor? I need to speak with him. Yeah, yeah. This, uh, it was, uh, this afternoon, it was a very severe right, episode. Miguel, I'd like to talk to her. Ask her about the allergy medicine, the one she took for poison ivy. Here. It looks like Rebecca took an antihistamine with, yes, ephenhydramine. I do remember from the list. So Miguel's just slowly trying to kill off all the Pearsons. It's a long play. But hey, one down, right? You. I need you to get me some stuff. The pain. I've been good. I have. I just, it hurts so bad. I just need a little help. Can't do it by myself. I can't take care of him. I'm lucky you came, Randall, honestly. Yeah. I'm just happy she's okay. Are we good? I mean, I've been texting and reaching out and I haven't heard anything back, really. And I'm so sorry. Sorry about what? The protest. And okay, but you've never apologized before. And this isn't the first black person to be killed on camera. I don't know, this feels different. It's not for me, Kate. It, it's never been different for me. I didn't want you to have to worry about saying the wrong thing. And I would tell you that you did all the right things. I would try to make it all okay for you. But if I did that, Kate, if I made things better for you, then where does that leave me? That has been my pattern all my life. And honestly, Kate, it is exhausting. I love you. I love you too. I'm having a, a girl, a girl and a boy. We just found out. Anyway, you got any advice for me? You let her get away with anything. I gotta go. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Randall. Hi, Randall. Hi, Dr. Lee. I'm gonna make a change and find a black therapist. And I just wanted to tell you that directly. You know, it's so strange. I'm not worried about forgetting about the big stuff. It's the regular Saturday when the kids were little. Um, Magic beans. She bear fruit in about six to ten years. Right. One day at a time. Well, we'll get it all right raising our children. Yeah. Yes. Raising our children. I just got six messages from the adoption agency. Kate, we have a match. What? Where'd he go? With the cops Wait. Know what to do about that. Why would they come back here? Because. Randall's mom's alive. 
theoretically. Well. It's been 40 years. I don't think they're going to bluff that. <laughs> really. Oh, she, actually, she died last week. Sorry, no new information for you. But the chase was fun, right? But how how is, like, if it's been 40 years and Randall's dad never looked for him, William. I mean, he checked in on him, I guess, and had contact with well, he with knew mom a bit, but not. She has no concept of where he went. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, so I don't know how they're gonna bring them together or how that's gonna work out. But it's gonna be. Yeah. Like William was the best part of season one. Like <laughs> this is gonna kick me in the dick. How you doing? I'm okay. Did you enjoy yourself? Sure. This is us. It's always such an enjoyable experience. So enjoyable. Yeah, you never feel not depressed, hopeless, gross. Uh, oh, they have wonderful moments of happiness. That's why people still watch it. Yeah. It's just constant kick to the gut. That'd be rough. Toby. Kate and Toby uh, apparently have a match. That's not gonna go well. No, it's not. Like we were talking about that right after the the you know next week on kind of thing which is in two weeks but like yeah that's a stupid law we like we already know what's going to happen with that storyline they're going to get a baby for about three weeks and then mom's going to change her mind because the laws are stupid like there should be some kind of better process to changing your mind on something that fucking huge you know yep. like you need to take a psych test you know, like, whatever they gotta make it better or like some kind of contract. If six months goes by and you, you're still good, then we're good. You know, like it can't because it's like oh, three years or something, right? It's something massive. Like it's that. huge. Like you can just go like have a baby, live your life for like go drinking for three years, and then decide, okay, I'll be a mom now. Now that it's potty trained and can talk. It's like bullshit. And I know it's not obviously what people do. They don't. Be like, well, I, I, I'm not done partying, so I'll give this away for a while. It's, that's not the situation, but it is a shitty situation. Like, I get protecting the mother's rights. I totally understand that. But at the same point, if you have given up that baby and that baby is, like I said, it happened to a friend where they had a baby for three, two no or three weeks. No one heard that part. We were talking amongst oh. ourselves for that. Well, they but had yeah. a baby for two or three weeks. Adoption went through and they had everything and then it was, nope. And baby was taken away and given back to mom. And that's trauma for the baby. Mm -hmm. Like People don't want to acknowledge that what goes on in the first days of life, but... Are freaking massive. That's huge. That change and all of that, so... So, yeah, we kind of already know how that storyline is going to go. Toby and... Kate are going to get Maybe the baby taken us. away. They're not going to surprise us. It's tragedy. The show's all tragedy. And how you overcome it. Maybe they'll surprise us. No, there's no happy endings other than apparently both of Randall's parents are going to end up alive. <laughs> At least for a while so we can watch them die. Because that's going to happen with mom now too. Cancer. No, that was dad. What's she got? What's mom got? She also has dementia? She also oh, has dementia. Oh, probably. Bastards. Uh, lots of beautiful moments. I'm glad they actually didn't have the Kevin and Randall, you Reconcile. know, reconciliation yet. That's a, that's a nice thing that should be coming, hopefully. Unless they're going to go real bad. Because, like, for a bit there, like, when Randall was driving home, I'm like, they're going to have him get pulled over the police here. They're going to make a giant statement like that. And have something horrible happen there which makes me nervous as fuck so yeah uh they you know i'm surprised they had i know i know they had to take a hiatus uh before making this episode or i thought maybe they already made a bunch of it but it seems like they got up to date quick with everything going on like the george floyd thing was in may you know, yeah coronavirus was in march so that's a pretty quick turnaround considering uh how much time was taken away from them. <laughs> you know what I mean? They, they couldn't do much. And I, I did notice a bunch of this episode, and they even called it out, was social distanced. Mm -hmm. So there wasn't many scenes of people being close. 
Uh, so, I mean, that might, might have been a workaround. So. But they did a hell of a job. It was beautiful. And left a lot of questions to be answered. So, we're looking forward to two weeks from now. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Leave comments down below. Let us know what you thought of the double episode. And we'll jump into episode three uh, in a couple weeks. Yeah. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time. Juice.